Marisha Ray is one of the best players on Critical Role. Her characters are deep, written very well, and are played even better. Marisha thinks about her actions, knows how to play the game, and adds a lot to the show that is Critical Role. Her involvement has been pivotal to its success. Today, we'll be talking about Marisha and what makes her great on the show. But where's another place you can talk about Critical Role or D&D with other fans? Amino is a free app with millions of different communities for you nerds to talk about passions, fandoms, and other interests. Like, for me, it's the Dungeons & Dragons one. So get out your phone, get in this Amino, and talk to these dudes about Critical Role ships like never before. You can vote on polls, read theories, discuss homebrew stuff, you got your fan art, you got people people looking to play the actual game. You know what I'm saying? Get in there and DM the Taldori campaign setting. You got a lot of people in here who want to play D&D. And most importantly, vote on my super cool poll on who's better, Vaxlith or Bosha. I'll wait. There's a link in the comments and description. If you like these videos, consider supporting the sponsor because they're bringing people in this community together, and that's super awesome, and also because money. Anyways, back to what I was saying. <laughs> Marisha thinks about her actions, knows how to play the game, and adds a lot to the show that is Critical Role. Her involvement has been pivotal to its success. It's honestly really sad to say that this statement is something rarely heard in the crit role community. Now, I'm not here to start drama or to say that everyone is wrong or to bring down Marisha. I'm here to bring light to some awesome aspects of this wonderful person that you can learn from. I think there's reasons behind everything Marisha did and still does. Not to say she's learned so much from playing the game. You have any idea what being on a stream and show for this long and frequently will do to a person? There's a lot to say about her. Marisha does a lot more than you guys think. But I don't know, I'm just a guy on the internet. I don't know them, I don't know who they are, I'm only attempting to read between the lines to show you guys there's more underneath. So, Marisha, if you're watching this, I'd just like to say, I love you, I understand you, I look up to you, and I'm also really bad that at BlizzCon 2017 you were right behind me when Matt was on stage. I wanted to say hi, but I couldn't find you in the darkness. Yes, I'm still mad about this. Anyways, let's do this. I want to show you how you can also be a great player like Marisha Ray. Alright, so one of the great things that Marisha does in this aspect is she roleplays to a fault. She is so invested in these characters, she's willing to take off her Marisha suit and put on her Keyleth suit, even if she's going to look a little stupid on the internet for mispronouncing some word when she's yelling at Raishan. Order of my civilization, burn! You see, this isn't cringy or annoying. In my eyes, it's admirable. What you're doing when you devote into your role at the table is you're leading everyone else into doing the same. You set an example. You should watch when she starts going all emotional into the game. Her friends aren't like, Ooh, uh, oh, Marisha's being all weird again. Let's, ooh, let's try to change the subject. They instead actively involve themselves in the game to match her level of role playing. This is pivotal when it comes to D&D. If everyone around the table was feeling super uncomfortable about role playing and no one ever did anything to promote role playing in the game, no one would ever want to role play their characters. <sighs> No, I'm not trying to say that your D&D game would be better if Marisha was sitting at it, but if you were playing D&D with your friends and suddenly one of them literally started crying at the table at the DM, you're telling me you'd just sit there and be like, oh nah, too weird, uh, don't like this, hashtag cringe. So, an example for myself. In our first game of Tesseract, a D&D game we play on our second channel, we were all having a good time going on a quest, playing our new characters, when out of nowhere, an NPC shows up, hands us the MacGuffin, and dies. In a cave. In any other situation, we'd be like, oh, huh, weird. Okay, let's go. But no. Logan, our DM, had to go the extra mile and actually had tears falling from his face during the death of the NPC we knew nothing about. We cared immensely about the item that he gave us. Spoilers, it's the Tesseract. And even later in the game, we killed people and felt awful about it. The tone of the game was set right then, and we were emotionally invested in the rest of that game. This is basically what Marisha accomplishes. Get involved in this game. Make your characters care, and don't be afraid. This game is about being out of your comfort zone. Marisha doesn't care if she looks stupid in front of millions of people. You shouldn't either. Now, we know that Marisha overextends her role-playing in order to set a tone and lead others into heavily role-playing with her. How does this compare when it comes to her characters? 
I have no clue what goes on behind the scenes of Critical Role. I'm not even that big of a fan, I just kind of enjoy it casually. But from what I can tell, Marisha really thinks about how her character should be played. Yes, I've talked about this before with Travis and Taliesin, but it's true. I feel like Marisha is probably similar to her characters, but I don't think she's all Bow or all Keyleth. If you were to compare the two characters, you begin to notice how different they are. Keyleth isn't very confident, she doubts herself, she isn't very good at th thinking sometimes, but she cares. She loves her friends with a burning fire Ashari passion and would do anything to stop her enemies. She wants to do good. Bo's a badass kung fu fighting bitch who don't take shit from anybody and can't even comprehend caring. Wow, isn't it crazy she knows how to play these two characters really well? Isn't it strange she pulls that off? Hey guys, guess what? It's because she's a good role player. I don't want to keep reiterating this point, but this is something admirable to look at. You see, Marisha throws away herself when she plays these characters. She puts aside what she wants and focuses on the story. I don't know what kind of meditation she goes through in order to literally play up this role to the point where people on Reddit are actively pissed at her for being dumb or a jerk because she's her fucking character, but it's admirable. If you're struggling to get into your character's head or people are calling you out for being a dick when you play D&D, look at Marisha. You're not alone. Play your character. This is your game, your friends, and your story. Don't let other people's opinions affect that. Stay humble and do what you do. Don't be afraid to breach that level of comfort. Our best experiences in life are had when we're scared out of our minds. Be brave. Another really cool thing I like that Marisha does when she plays this game is she rarely involves herself. This is a big problem I have when I play D&D. I'm very much an instigator. I like to be around everything all the time and push all the buttons and talk to all the NPCs. I can get really caught up in it and end up taking away from my friends who are also trying to enjoy the game. One of my most hated things as a player is when someone else is doing something in another room and I can't do anything about it. I typically have to leave the table so I don't metagame. So even though Marisha is kind of like a bash in the door kind of role playing style where she's like, here's me and my character, she's never stepping on the toes of the other players. And my God, is that a hard thing to do? But not if you have the right mindset. Like I stated before, Marisha's over the top role playing is a way for others to feel comfortable about role playing too. Then she takes the extra step to make sure that everyone gets their chance to role play. Do you see? She's basically goading out the intense nerdy role player of her friends for a fun time around the table. That was a weird sentence, but let me explain. Marisha isn't doing this all for herself. Much like Travis, she's interacting with her friends in order to give them a chance of playing their character. You've got people like Liam who are also big in their personality and want to do this epic light show of a D&D game, but Liam tends to play these quiet broody characters. Marisha goes out of her way to get Liam to roleplay the shit out of Caleb by giving him opportunities too. And this is so great for characters to do. She doesn't focus on herself. She's always leaning on her friends throughout the games. Even as Keyleth, she looked to her party or even NPCs to play out her character. See, someone like me, I'll literally just take any opportunity to play out my character's traits and flaws. I'm not really doing it for the game, I'm doing it to be like, Ooh, look at me and my character, I'm so cool. Marisha does it for the opposite. She wants to have a real interaction with her friends. This in turn creates a more enjoyable experience for everyone. God, she's really good at this game. I remember last year when Campaign 2 was about four or five games from finishing and Marisha tweeted that she was excited about making a new character, I was legitimately curious as to what she would make. I was very surprised at Bo and didn't expect it from her at all. It's because Marisha played Keyleth so well that I would have never expected her to play something so opposite. And to be honest, I was kind of on the boat of Marisha's basically Keyleth. But Marisha honestly seems more comfortable in Bo than Keyleth. Yes, I could say she learned and grew since the start of the first campaign, but it's one hell of a shift. It made me realize that all the tears Marisha shed as Keyleth and all the dumb, weird, crazy decisions she made were kind of all a part of the character. I don't need to prove this to you. Go watch the last episode of Campaign 1 and the first episode of Campaign 2. There's a tremendous shift. In the end, this game is about being in another world with the people you care about. You can play it however you want. This game is about having fun with you and your friends. I just hope from this video and from Marisha, you can learn to be a leader at the table. Humility, companionship, and teamwork.
Thanks, Marisha.